Hey, my name is Chris. This is Coco. Uh, we're going to revise this video and show you how to flip a macaw's talons. Now, with Coco, it's quite easy because, um, a lot of times, depending on your mood, uh, because he's really used to it, and Coco knows, uh, Coco's used to me touching, touching the feet. He's okay with that. So if, you, if your bird's not used to you touching the feet and kind of nips at you, then you don't really want to want to attempt this, uh, you know, too quickly. Go ahead and get them used to you touching their feet, lifting their toes, really doing a lot of a lot of handling, um, and then being comfortable with it. That way they trust you. Now the best thing to do at first, if this is your first time clipping your bird's talons, is barely nip the tip. And I'll show you, uh, what are you doing? Are you trying to, uh, are you should be nice. Okay. Never waste a moment like that. You should be careful. I know. I never. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna first check out this diagram. And that shows the interior of the talon, the part that we do not want to get to. So what we want to do is we want to barely nip the tip and just take the sharp uh, point part off to where when they grab onto something they can still grip it but they won't puncture the skin or uh, cause a, a scratchage. You are so lovely today. I know. Sir. Oh. Go ahead, fix my feathers. Alright, so we're going to get on with this and I'll Clip one or two for you. Now, the best thing to do with, with these guys when you're... I'm going to get to it as soon as I can. The best thing to do with these guys when you're clipping their nails is, is try not to stress them out. So do one or two, then stop, take a break. Do one or two, stop, take a break, give them a treat. Uh, reward them, let them know that you're, that you're just trying to help maintain them. So, uh, anyway, with these guys, we'll do... I might be able to do a few with Coco because she's in a good mood, but... Just a second. Okay, here we go. Now, I'll take a look at this one. Now, what I've done is I've got this little, uh, I got this from the pet store, it's called a Top Paws for clipping dogs. Now, this the distance in here is set for, I mean it's adjustable obviously, but it's set for like dogs and cats, so you don't want to go by that. I usually put it in uh, just to where I can barely see that maybe a fraction of an inch of the talon is coming off, okay? Come on. Tip up. Alright, let's get Yeah, Alright, let me see the flip. Okay. I'm gonna try and keep it I can show you how much it's coming off. There's only two hands, I can't really hold the camera up and zoom in. Alright. There it is. Okay, just a tiny little not even a quarter of an inch, just a, just a little bit of the tip. That keeps the sharp part from uh, uh, doing any damage to anything that he holds on to, like whether it be leather or suede sofas or your skin. Now, he'll also, the more that he, uh, depending on what kind of perches you have, if you have stone perches or wood, the more he walks around, it's, it's obviously gonna, gonna have kind of a flat edge for maybe a day or two, but it'll wear down and kind of round off soon. Plus, you'll notice he'll, he or she will kind of play with them and, they do a little bit of maintenance of their own, but in captivity, they need a lot more assistance from you. So, that's that. Uh, good luck, and if you have any questions or comments, please rock and roll on YouTube, and I'll talk at you later.